What up you guys? Okay, so starting out, I'm going to use my Hard Candy Primer. This is a face primer. I'm just going to apply this all over my face. And I kind of put a little too much on, but we worked it out, you know, smooth it on. Alright, next I'm going to go in with my 24-hour Revlon Color Stay Foundation. This is the mousse, and I'm just going to pat that on my face. And then I'm going to mix in some of my BH Cosmetics Foundation, and I'm going to apply that to my face together and I'm using a brush I got from Coastal Scents. Um, it's like a flat top. I guess it's like a kabuki brush. It's really really just awesome brush. You guys definitely need to try it out. If you don't have it in your collection you should probably go get it. Alright so next I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl Queen Collection Concealer and apply that to the dark spots on my face and just going to dot it on, pat it out with my finger and yeah. Alright, now I'm using an e.l.f. primer to keep my bottom, or keep my foundation from creasing. I don't know how to really explain this part, but I saw it here on YouTube, so I figured I would try it out, and it actually worked. So, I'm applying my Bright Eyed. Um, it's like an eye brightener from Coastal Scents, and my e.l.f. Maximum Concealer to my lower lash line. And the primer that I put on actually helps this to not crease as bad because um, I have really fine lines below my eyes, at least when I like stay up late at night. So, yeah. But it worked out. So, if you guys want to try that, it's a great tool. And it was only a dollar for the primer. So, all right, now I'm going to set the under eye concealer with the eye boost or with a booster from Elf. I'm sorry, you guys. Now I'm using a cream blush by Forever 21 Love and Beauty and I'm just going to pat it on and blend it out with my fingers and it's like this great corally color, really nice. But anyway, so now I'm going to contour a little with my Sleek Contour Kit in Medium and it's not a serious contour because yeah, but anyways. Alright, next, moving on to set all of the foundation and stuff I put on. I'm using my True Match Powder in Cappuccino. And now I'm going to highlight with a um, bronzer. It's a bronzer from e.l.f. Alright, now I'm using my e.l.f. Eye Lifter and Filler. And I'm just going to sort of darken my eyebrows. Now using the NY, NY, NYX. NYX. Um, eyeshadow base in skin tone. I'm getting toned out. I'm sorry, y'all. Just apply it to the lids. Okay. Moving on. The next thing I'm going to do is take Venus, I want to say it is, from the Naked Basics palette. And I'm going to apply that all over the lid, all the way up to the brow bone. And this is actually a look I found on Pinterest. So I was really nervous to see how it would turn out. But I liked it. But anyways, alright, moving on to Crave, that's a black in that palette. I'm going to apply that to the outer corner of the lid. And I kind of just went about, like, not quite to the iris, but over a little. And so, now I'm going to go in with Busted from the Naked palette. And I'm going to blend out the black color. And blend and blend and blend some more. Because, of course, the black is not supposed to be super intense but because I tend to get really heavy handed when I blend I had to put it on a little bit darker so they wouldn't completely lose its color but I'm just blending it out and then I'm going to take the color sidecar from the naked palette and I'm going to apply that all over the lid and you guys are see here I go right here getting a little ahead of myself but yeah just apply sidecar to the lid um, up to the crease pretty much yeah pretty simple uh, look I guess I think it is because it's only four colors, but it looks really, really nice, like photographed and whatnot. Alright, so here I'm just going to take, um, is it Venus? No, is it Walk of Shame? I don't know. It's the yellow color, though, um, in the palette and applied to the brow bone. Now I'm using a gel liner. This is by Ruby Kiss, and I'm just going to apply that to my lash line because I love my black eyeliner. I have to have it. I can get quite obsessed with it, um, but I'm actually proud of myself because I've almost used this one up, so or I've gotten further in it than I have with any other eyeliner. So yeah. 
Alright, next I'm going to use my Long Lasting Pencil Liner by Essence and I'm going to tight line my eyes and gorgeous face right there, right? Alright, now I'm using my NYX um, Stay On Pencil and do the bottom lash line. Now I'm using Smooth Kiss by Victoria's Secret, just applying that to the lips. You know, make them nice and soft. Then I'm using my Color Whisper in Pin Up Peach. And I'm going to apply that to the lids. I love that color. It's like my lip color, but better. Alright, this is just Last Bl Lash Blast Fusion by CoverGirl. And that was what I put on my eyelashes. Alright, I'm getting way behind in this video. Here, you probably only see part of me. And that's because I'm taking out the pin curls that I put in my hair last night. The wand that I just showed you guys is by New Me. It is the foreplay and it took forever to get to my house. But anyways, alright, so here I'm just taking out the pin curls. I had I wanted my hair last night, and so I'm just taking the pin curls that I as I wanted them, I rolled them up so that they would stay. And so I'm here just taking these out, you know, just taking them out, taking them out. That was like one of the most frustrating processes. I don't think I'll ever pin curl my hair again, to be honest. Like, it was so frustrating. But the curls, like, they're still in my hair now. So it was a really, it, they stayed. It just, yeah. Alright, taking off the band that I used to lay my edges down. I don't know if y'all know that about that. But, yeah. Alright, so I'm combing out the curls that I already put in my hair. And this is where I realized I forgot one of the pin curls. Alright, smoothing everything down, just gonna comb out and brush out the, the brush, brush out the curls, sorry. Alright, now I'm using the wand to curl the top part of my hair. I didn't pin curl that last night because I wanted it all to look super fresh, so I figured if I curled the bottom and just wanded the top, it would work itself out, and it did. So here I'm just curling big sections of hair, and it also, it saves a ton of time when you pin curl it. Um, so, if that's something you're interested in, definitely try it. Um, but I would recommend using, like, bobby pins and not duck bill clips because it was absolutely horrible. So, yeah, just grabbing sections and curling them. And I want to say this is the 25 millimeter wand. Um, I know they sell, like, separate wands, but I'm pretty sure they're out of the foreplay set for good now. But, yeah, just curling the top layers of my hair. And I think this is where I try and curl it back and it ends up just like slipping right off the wand. Yep, there it is. So I try another section and hopefully we get this one right. And do we do it? Yes, we do. Alright, so yeah, just hold it and let it go and then brush it out because I'm more of a wavy curl person, not a big curly curl person. I don't know if that makes sense. But alright, that's everything. So. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it.